So this is the LG V60 ThinQ 5G. And yes, from here on out, I'm going to just call it the V60 because that name is incredibly long. But this phone is starting to roll out to carriers and consumers starting this week. We have our review unit in-house. This is the T-Mobile version. And the price for this is $7.99, no matter what carrier you buy the phone from. But the dual screen accessory has a different price depending on who you get it from. So with T-Mobile, I do know that it's an extra $100. So for $8.99, you can have basically a folding phone or a dual screen phone, um, which is about $1,200 less than getting the Samsung Galaxy Fold and about six to $700 less from the Z Flip for a foldable device. Now I'm gonna put foldable in quotes because it's not a true folding glass phone, but you still get two screens no matter how you look at it. And so let's go ahead and unbox it. All right, so inside the box right on top, you've got your LG cleaning cloth, which is gonna come in handy, that's for sure. And then you have your phone sitting right on top. And you know what, let's just dump out the rest of the accessories, because why not? You have your USB wall adapter here, USB-C, and your USB-C cable. And then there's some paperwork and your SIM ejection tool in this guy, along with some other paperwork there, it doesn't matter. Here is the phone that we all want to see. And honestly, I'm really digging the white variant. This is what I wanted. There is a white and blue model, finally, so you don't have to stick with just the standard black option. Um, it just kind of showed so many fingerprints. I was getting really sick of just the plain old black option. So I'm glad that white is here and also you there is a blue option out there too. All right, so while the phone boots up, I'm gonna put this off to the side. Let's go ahead and quickly unbox the dual screen accessory. Um, I recommend if you have an extra 100 bucks to spare, you don't need it for this phone, but it's definitely a cool accessory. I'm not sure if you're ever gonna use it. Maybe this video will help you figure out whether you want to go with that when you purchase it. Um, I mean, you can always return it. It is an accessory. You don't actually have to keep it. But here is the dual screen. Let's go ahead and take this out of the wrapper. And it's very similar to the one on the G8X. Uh, if you've used the G8X, it's pretty much the same deal. Um, on the outside here, you've got a very glossy finish. There is a little cutout out here. You'll notice it more when I plug the phone in. This is a kind of a secondary screen here uh, so that when you get notifications or you wanna see the, top, uh, the time or battery life, you can see that. And then when you open it up, Boom, there's another 6.8 inch display, pretty much matching the same resolution and quality as your OLED device, uh, as your OLED display on the actual V60. And you do need this accessory right here to charge it. It is magnetic. Um, it is a USB-C uh, adapter. And then this is the magnetic part that just kind of, boom, goes right there. If you're always using this case, I recommend just kind of keeping it near your charging cable or attach your charging cable if you want. But so let's talk a little bit about the specs on the V60, starting off with the display. It's a beautiful 6.8 inch OLED display. Uh, it's QHD, I'd put it up there, right up there with the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra display. It's vibrant, it's beautiful. It doesn't have 120 Hertz, which is going to be disappointing coming from the S20, but it's still a really solid display. And the phone itself has a Snapdragon 865 processor. It's also rocking eight gigabytes of RAM and a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, which is absolutely massive and awesome to see on here. And then as far as cameras go on the back, you have a 64 megapixel main camera. Uh, that is absolutely massive. And a 13 megapixel ultra wide camera and then here is your depth sensor and time of flight sensor. It's capable of, from what I've seen from some test photos already in video, it's capable of taking some amazing photos and it's capable of taking 4K 60 frames per second in terms of video recording as well as 8K. Now 24 frames per second is what the file is saved at, but it's said to take around 30 frames per second, but it's saved at 24. So it's gonna give you that smoother, image, but you're still getting 24 frames when you actually save your file. Uh, we're gonna do a full-on camera test and 
We'll have that up and running on the uh, channel here soon. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video. Actually, I think the main video that we're gonna do, you know, aside from the review is we're gonna put this up against the S20 Ultra and we'll compare all the camera, you know, the 8K video as well as just your standard point and shoot camera tests. So again, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video. There's also a built-in fingerprint sensor. Uh, it's underneath the display here. If you wanted to run your fingerprint, you can do that. Uh, that's, I haven't set it up yet, but I just kind of wanted to get it out of the box and put it with this beautiful secondary screen just to kind of show you what that's like. If you're considering ordering one now and you just want to know what that looks like, here is the second display. You just kind of pop it in. You'll see here, you can move what's showing onto the other screen or swap what's on both screens. So we're going to click on this little tab, turn on the dual screen, and boom, there's your dual screen setup. And again, the quality is just as good as the main display here. So you can watch YouTube on one screen and you can do anything else on the other. Like, I don't know, message your friends, make a phone call, maybe. I actually haven't tested that, so I don't wanna give you false information. Um, you can, I actually have not added an account yet, so you can browse the web, but yeah, you can do Two things at once, you can show main on your dual screen, you can switch that, so you can switch whatever app is here. So if I wanted to do that, we switched the Google Chrome app on this side and now we can switch it back. Um, and then we can swap screens like I just said before, or we can use one display if you would like. If you don't wanna use two, you just fold it back or you can open it back up and here you go. I do wanna show you that when you close it up, you do have your time here, as I mentioned before, and you can see notifications. You can't really interact with this display, but yeah, V60, I really like it so far for my first impressions. Just feels really nice in the hand. It looks premium, feels premium, but we're gonna do a full, you do get a ton of bloatware though, unfortunately, if you're not getting an unlocked version. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll get rid of all that here soon. Just check in the settings, see if there's anything that we don't know about. Nope. We'll run through everything here uh, in the future. We'll do a, another tips video like I did with my S20. Uh, but yeah, this is the V60. Would love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. Are you planning on picking one up? Did you pick one up? Let me know in those comments. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I hope to see you around in the next video.